Good morning, dear friends. Again, welcome to JD's Corner. My name is JD. And here at JD's Corner, we will talk about different stuffs that I find relevant to share to everyone. So for today's episode, I'm going to share to you about the word friends, right? Like the series, TV series, American TV series, sitcom, friends. Okay. But before we proceed to discussing and sharing about the word friends, Allow me to share to you a verse from the Bible. A man who has friends must himself be friendly, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. This is from Proverbs 18.24. A friend is someone who shares your interest or even your secrets. Someone who makes you laugh, calms you down, lifts you up, affirms what you believe, someone you can call up any time of the day or night. Don't we want that? Don't we want a friend that close that we can rely on? Searching for a true friend is rare and difficult like, uh, like a gem. As you journey in life, you certainly need friends you can trust, friends you stick closer than a brother and share the weight that you carry to lighten your load. All of us has our own burdens um, that we face in our life, and every day we, we, we thrive uh, to survive this, this life. But it also, it's also nice that we have friends with us that sees our struggles and sees our successes in life as well. So it's nice to have a friend that will support us along the way. Most of us desperately want friends. We don't want to be alone. Surely, there's nothing better than to belong to a great group of friends. And nothing worse than feeling like an outcast. In choosing friends, it is important to consider your need rather than your want. You know, there, there's a, there's just some uh, some things that we should uh, be aware of before we choose our friends. Um, I think it's it's nice to have, just like what the text says, that uh, the feeling of belongingness. It's in the hierarchy of needs of of um, of Maslow. It's actually very very important. You know, the belongingness that. Friends can, can, be, uh, can be a channel for an individual to feel belong in, in, in this world. Right? But let's not practice to please our friends just to feel that uh, we belong. Okay? Again, it's what you need. Okay? Choose a friend not only because you are compatible, but because you need someone who is good influence in your life. Good influence, okay? We need to choose friends that are good influence in many aspects, whether it be in academics, in sports, in life in general. A person of character, one who can help bring out the good in you and make you a better person. We want that, that kind of friend that will help us along the way. And you, as said, you should also be uh, friendly to your friend. That you should also be a good influence to your friend. Don't you want that? It's it's a vice versa. Okay. Uh, uh, one who can help you bring out the good in you and make you a better person in the same way that you are to him. Some friends can be fickle. They disappoint or talk about you behind your back. Likewise, a bad company can make you compromise your standards that uh, you could become just like him. It's, it's really difficult to look for friends uh, these days uh, that, that you can really, really trust. But the, the important thing in, in looking for true friends is that you have to make sure that apart from you guys have common ground, you should also have common interests. You, both of you, should be open to each other. When someone opens up a secret, you are bound to keep that secret to protect your friend. Okay, uh, trust 
it's fundamental in friendship. Love as well, uh, a brotherly or sisterly love is very important in friendship. As said, there are friends that are actually even closer than than your uh, than the people that are related to you by blood. Okay, because friends can actually also be your family. That's how friends can be. Uh, but then again, it's also dangerous to give your trust easily to other people because uh, some of them might might break you, might disappoint you by sharing their secrets. Okay? In high school, friends can be the biggest deal in your life, but you can't make it uh, the center of your life forever. Living apart, through the years, friends will change and you will change as well. Everyone will form different relationships. Some friends remember and some forget. Um, there's a song uh, called For Good. This song was sung in The Wicked. Um, friends for good. No matter what happened, they are thankful to each other that at some point in their lives, they've met and they're thankful. In our high school years, we've met friends, we've met good friends, and along the way, some of them are still with you, some of them are not. When you went to college, when you went to work, some of them are still with you and some of them are not. Okay. But you are thankful. You, know, you should cherish the moment that these people become became your friends at some point in your life. And they were good to you. Likewise, you should also be remembered by other people, by your friends before in high school and in college or in, even in work, that you've been good friends with them. It pays to be remembered to be a good friend. Okay? Wherever you are, you can make friends by being friendly. But truly, the key to finding smart and wise friend is being one. If you craft yourself to be to be a good person, to be a good friend, definitely you're going to find good friends. But you know, it's also very important for us to be reminded that we actually have a friend in our life who's just one call away, and that's God. You just need to pray and ask for his help. He's our friend. He's even closer than our friends. Um, he will be there to answer your, your call. Okay. It's just one pray away. And uh, God can be your friend. He can be your best friend. Okay? And God also uses other people. Okay? That can be channels of blessing, channels of wisdom. That, uh, that can be your friends as well. So God will deliver this people to you to become friends and likewise you will be delivered to other people to become friends and when we become friends with other people let us be light and be channels of blessing some people consider their acquaintance as friends but really a friend is someone who knows all about you and still likes you a friend a true friend knows most of your sides not everything there are sides that is personally yours and to god and there are sides that uh, you can show to your family and there's also side that you can show to your friends but sometimes a lot of times people goes to different groups of friends to be accepted okay? they, they they actually show their secrets to other people to their friends to be accepted in the group rather than their family but they, take note that our family is still very important okay? it's the base of your of your life if you have problems outside the world if you have problems it's very important and encouraged to always share it to your family first that's how important family is but then again friends are there also that you can share it with. let's practice to be good friends for us to find good friends as well um, and you know, no matter what happens i am very thankful to all the friends that i've had in 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 my years some friends come and goes some friend some friends comes and stays as well but more than that i am very very thankful that i have god as my friend 
Again, this is JD's Corner. Let us all practice to be good friends. Thank you for being my true and faithful friend, dear God. Help me to be true friends to others. Let us practice to be true friends to ourselves and to others as well. Again, this is JD's Corner. Thank you and God be with you all. Thank you.